Hello everyone. We are students of Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology and we developed a project for our energy conversion to sessional. The name of our project is application of single-sided linear induction motor. Here, we tried to build a model of a train and tried to control its speed. Uh, in order to control the speed, we used consequent pole changing method. At the very beginning, I would like to give you a brief on how a linear induction motor works. Now, as we know, in the case of general induction motor, the stator is circular. Therefore, the magnetic field created inside the stator is rotational. However, in our case, we cut the stator into a linear structure. Therefore, the magnetic field created is linear. As a result, when we place the rotor on the stator, we get a linear thrust and therefore a linear transition. Alongside the linear thrust, we get two other forces, one of which is lateral force that gives the rotor a sidewise transition and the other one is lift force, which is very small in amount, therefore we can neglect its effect. Here we made a three-phase linear induction motor. We have two coils per phase. This is our phase A, this is phase B, and here is phase C. Now this is the input terminal of our coil 1 and this is the output terminal and these two are the two terminals of coil 2. The three phase power supply will be connected with our input terminal and during the operation of the motor our output terminal will be connected to either of the two terminals of coil 2. The other terminal of coil 2 will be shorted and act as our neutral point. In order to control the speed, we used consequent pole changing method. We applied both two pole and four pole uh, configuration. Here, at first, we will see the two pole configuration. Now, the coils are winded in counterclockwise, starting from this terminal and ending here in the output terminal. Uh, 80 turns per coil. When the power supply is connected to the input terminal of coil 1, we get a counterclockwise current flow in each phase of coil 1. Now, if the output terminal is connected to this terminal of coil 2, then the correct current direction of coil 2 will be clockwise. And the terminal that is left in coil 2 will be shorted together and work as a neutral point. Now since the current is flowing in counterclockwise in coil 1 and clockwise in coil 2, we get a north pole in our coil 1 and we get a south pole in our coil 2. Therefore, we get two poles per phase. Now we will observe the operation of the motor in two pole configuration. Now we shall proceed to the 4-pole configuration. The input terminal will be as it was in 2-pole. Uh, however, the output terminal will be connected with this terminal of the coil 2 instead of this one and this terminal will be shorted together and will act as the neutral point here. Now, when these two terminals will be connected, the current flow that we observe in coil 2 will be counterclockwise as well. Therefore, we get both uh, counterclockwise current flow in both the coils. Therefore, two north pole will be created in both the coils per phase. Due to the two nor north pole, we will get a consequent weak south pole in both the coils. Therefore, the current flow observed in both the coils will be counterclockwise. As a result, two north poles will be created in both the coils and two consequent weak south poles will be created as well. As a result, we get four poles per phase. Now we shall observe the operation of the motor in four pole configuration. As we know from the formula of synchronous velocity that the speed of the motor is inversely proportional to the number of poles, we observed a same phenomena in our experiments. The speed of the rotor in the four pole configuration is lower than that of the speed of the rotor in the two pole configuration.
If you want to change the configuration of pole during the operation of the motor, you can use a triple pole double throw switch to do that. The output terminal of coil 1 and both the terminals of coil 2 will be connected to the TPDT switch and by using this, you can change the pole while keeping the motor operated at all times. That's all about our project. If you want to know the detailed theory of linear induction motor, you are welcome to check the link below. The project report is given there. Thank you.